Hello and welcome to Gill Stadium. I wanted to say sorry for the audio issues. My name is Kyle Heavey for Manchester Public Television. I've left the headset in my car, so we'll try to give this game a go without a headset. And Dover hits it out to left field for out number one. We have the Manchester Knights and the Dover Green Wave in today's action here on this Wednesday, April 27th, 2022. Manchester Public Television, happy to cover as much action as we can here between softball, baseball, and lacrosse. And, well, we got great pitching matchup ahead of us between the Dover and Manchester coming in with the same records, and four and three. And Jacob Morgan up to bat now. A one one count. Pitching for Manchester is Griffin Loge. Off to a pretty good start with an easy one out. And a ground ball. Jake Plamondon has trouble with it. Gets it across. Declan Ryan with a heck of a stretch, but that will go for a base hit. Now you give that an error. Sorry, Jacob. You'll get an error on that one for sure. And now, the number three batter and a Ryder Aubin up to bat. Declan going to talk to the umpire here. It's a cold, windy afternoon here at Gill Stadium. You can see a lot of players with long sleeve, Under Armour type things. And we have a lot of discussions here on this play. Well, arms out in the air. And either way, the designated hitter, Ryder Aubin, off the bat here. Takes a called strike on the outside corner. Over green wave. Inside, barely misses him. Griffin very close to having a tough go of it, but able to miss. Fouls one back. So one two count. Two two count. <laughs> A lot of yelling from the Green Wave dugout. Strike three. Griffin likes it. Ryder does not. And just like that, two outs here in the top of the first inning. And now off the bat, Andrew Raposa, number thirty-five. Griffin decides to take a step back. Jacob Morgan again at first base. Goes for a strike. Looks inside, but we are at a tough angle up here above the field. 1-1 one, one count. Very inside. 
Andrew looking like he could be good at the limbo with that sort of reflex matrix type move. He takes a moment to uh, get himself adjusted. Definitely uh, tough to have a 70 mile per hour pitch coming at your, your noggin. And he fouls one now. A two, two count. See the wind on the pants of the umpire. Outside. Full count here. Griffin trying to get another K. He misses and will go for ball four. Oh. Good battle right there between Andrew and Griffin, but now we'll have Timmy McGregor. We'll talk to his coach here. Hood came down to say some signs. David Hood, the newest St. Anselm Hawk, as he was able to announce to the world today. So congratulations on your academic and athletic career going forward. Has enjoyed being a little green and now a knight. A ground ball, Plamond and looking to get revenge. Gets it quickly over to second base and we're out of the inning. Izzy Lopez the receiver of that pass and now the Knights will see what they can do with their bats. 0-0 zero, zero game. One error, one walk, one K, no hits, no runs. We'll be back after this. Jacob Plamondon, the first batter here for the Knights in the bottom of the first inning. Jacob able to get out of that inning. First pitch here. Fouled off. One strike to Plamondon. And he crushes one out to center field. Center fielder ranging back and is able to grab it. And we have quickly one out here with Jake Vashon, the left handed batter, up to bat here. Great range by the center fielder. Rhett David. And ground ball. Should be an easy play for the second baseman. Over to first. And very quickly, two batters, two outs for the green wave. Brady McDonough over to Andrew Raposa, able to make that play. And now we'll see what we can do here. With two outs, Declan Ryan up to bat. One strike on Ryan. Ball outside. And wind up. 
And another ground ball. Should be an easy but closer play than I expected with the speed of Declan Ryan, but that will do it. Well, back here at Gill Stadium, top of the second inning. Ground ball foul. First batter we just missed as I ran to the car to get my headphones to make this audio sound a little bit better here. And we missed the first out here. A ground ball that was able to, Declan Ryan was able to step on the bag to get it. And I'll catch my breath in a moment here, ladies and gentlemen. Swing and a miss. David Williams, the batter here. Missing Parker Flurry. Before that. And. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that looked very, very good pitch right there. Uh, that David Hood is ready to throw down to third, and now outside two-two count now. And a ground ball, third base, the throw across the diamond, in time. He's nice, graceful slip and slide by the batter. But very quickly, two outs here, and Griffin Loge feeling pretty good. And now Brady McDonough. And left handed batter playing out there in right field. We'll see if he can send one out to right field. Very inside, looked like a ball from up here, but called the strike, but down there. Griffin winds up, gives a off speed curve that goes for strike out. The third out, so no runs, no hits, no errors in the top of the second. Manchester looking to use their bats, get on the board, take a lead. We'll be back to see more of this great Division I high school baseball matchup, Dover and Manchester. The Knights tied to zero. Designated here, Matt Lebrecht is the batter here for the bottom of the second inning. Lebrecht can certainly get a hold of the ball. We've seen that a few times this season. As our fourth game covering the Knights. Called strike. Love the energy from both benches as they are definitely yelling pretty well. Strike called again. So Lebrecht in a hole. And the windup goes for a ball. Try to get him chasing outside. Lebrecht better than that. And a little ground ball, but it's going to go as a foul ball. Steps in, step, stands far back in the box. And ball gets away. So, down 0 2, now 2 2 count. Lebrecht being patient. Wind gusts pretty good right here from the northwest. Ball three. Full count now. Long at bat for LeBrick. And takes ball four. He'll head to the first base, a free base. A 
Let's see what he can do in the base paths. Now is number 12 and Tyler Shroblowski off the bat now. Tyler sends it out to center field. Ranging there. Able to make that catch. Now possibly doubled up at first. And he is. Lebrecht took off thinking that it was not going to be count, caught. And the center fielder makes the play, makes the throw. And just like that, two outs very quickly here in the bottom of the second. Brett David, kudos to you, buddy. Great arm, great fielding, and decent hitting by Shroblowski. Just uh, Brett doing all that he can to win himself a gold glove in high school in New Hampshire baseball. And now we'll see what Izzy Lopez can do. I haven't really seen Izzy too much this year when we've covered the games. And he grounds one. His third baseman fields it cleanly. The throw across. Nice dive by Izzy, but not in time. And after a leadoff walk, Dover able to make some plays and get three consecutive outs. And we'll head to the third inning. Nothing going on here between Manchester and Dover. Pretty fun action, though. We'll be back with more baseball coverage for Manchester Public Television after this. And Jackson Carroll, the leadoff batter here for the top of the third inning. Follows one back up here. Just hit below the window and bounced down. Good job by Hood. Quickly to get that. And go for strike one. Griffin with two Ks so far in this game. Throws an outside pitch for a ball one. Jackson Carroll, the second baseman. He's had a pretty busy day. Swing and a miss. Fouls one back. So still a one ball, two strikes. See if Griffin goes for the curveball again. Does not get the call. Foul backwards. We saw this at the bottom of the second, a long at bat when Matt LeBrec came up the bat, and now we're seeing it here with Jackson Carroll. And he grounds one. Plamondon gets the couple hops over to Ryan and in time for the out. So, long at bat, but Griffin Loge doing a great job making these green wave batters ground out. And now, we'll be back to the top of the lineup and Brett David. Storylines, Ben David so far. He f flew out to left field to start the game. Now ground ball, Izzy able to get it cleanly over to Declan and two outs in this Top of the third inning. And now Jacob Morgan was able to get on base due to an error in the first inning. See what he can do here. Using both sides of the plate is Griffin, but not able to get any pieces of the white. I only have a 2-0 count. Strike called. Ball does not land in Hood's glove. 
Kind of looks at it, questioning. Looked like he closed before the ball got to him. And now, 3-1 count. Griffin had a two-out walk in the first inning. And he has a two-out walk in the third inning as well. Second time on base there for Mr. Morgan. And Ryder Aubin, who struck out for the second out in the first inning. Up to bat here. Griffin from the stretch position. Gets the first ball fouled. Griffin looks down, sends it, but it's caught easily by the third baseman. It started to drop a little bit, but Travelowski is able to read it and field it cleanly. So we have finished the top part of the third inning. We'll see what the bottom half looks like. Zero for Dover, zero for Manchester. We'll see if that changes. Stay tuned after this. And the catcher, David Hood for Manchester, the leadoff batter here in the bottom part of the third inning. Manchester has gone basically one, two, three in each of the first two innings. Let's see if Hood can change that progression. Takes an outside fastball for strike one. He cranks one out to right field, trying to catch the wind. It does! Gets past the right fielder, and Hood will take off. You see the hat come flying off, and he'll stay at two. Gets back on the bag. Hood doesn't know what to do. He's looking at one coach saying go, saying go, and the other one's saying stay. And he will start it off with a stand-up double. Again, you can see that wind just blown in that direction. That ball just caught the jet stream and was able to get it over the right fielder's head. The carnival in town for the next week, it looks like, as well. So if anyone has... Wants to kill some spare time, come down to the carnival. Catch some baseball action here, as next Friday will be a good one. Memorial and a closer play than I thought. I, Hood had to dive back, took a giant lead. Didn't expect the, the throw from the catcher to come all the way down. But Jacob Morgan, not af afraid to use his arm. Pitch outside, so now there's two balls on the batter, and that is Nolan Duval. Duval playing out in left field. He made that first out of the game. Hood really having some close plays. The throws have been there, just able to get back. Making the pitcher work here. And Duval waits for, tries to get the bunt. And now, a little pickoff, but Hood able to get to third. Morgan did throw down, but just wasn't able to feel it cleanly was the shortstop. And now, no outs, runner at third base. Manufacturing some runs here. So now, a 2-1 count to Duval. He does need, not, not need to bunt. Takes the ball low, so 3-1 count. And ball four. So runners at the corners with no outs here. Manchester still needs to get them across the board. Griffin Loge will run down, talk to Coach and David, and we'll have a meeting at the mound for the Green Wave. Kind of lost a little bit of confidence after that ball flew over the right fielder's head. 
tough spot to be in for a Mr. Brady McDonough. No one in the dugout warming up for Dover, so they're going to stick with them and try to get a ground out, possible double play. But this will be a good pitcher versus pitcher matchup here. Looks down, gets the sign from coach. Takes a strike. The throw down is not in time. So, very quickly, runners at second and third. And Nolan Duval, first pitch taken off. There will be thrown home if there's a ground ball. Hood is taken off. The bunt attempt is foul. Suicide squeeze trying to get that run, but does not work. And now there are two strikes on Griffin. Really being aggressive on the base, base paths here today. It's a ball high. And hits one out to the outfield. David makes the catch, the throw home. A good one over to second. The ball kind of gets away from the third baseman, but not far enough. So does not go deep enough for a sacrifice fly. Again, the defense of one Brett David really doing Dover well. He's already had about four outs between catches and throws. Certainly a star in the making here out in center field. And now, fouled off. Will they run over to get it? Railing was a little too close and out of territory. That's the leadoff batter, Jacob Plamondon. Plamondon flew out to center field to start off the bottom of the first. And now one strike on him. Outside pitch. First base is available if they decide to go that route. A very subtle swing there by Plamond, and now he's down on the count, one, two. One out here, bottom of the third inning. And he cranks one over the second baseman's head. That'll bring in Hood from third. Got to hold off as Duval at third, but one run crosses the plate. And Manchester gets the lead, one to nothing. David Hood getting some love from his teammates, from his coach. And still only one out here and runners at the corners. Let's see if Plamondon, who Gets that RBI, will take off on the first pitch. And he does. They're going to go home with it instead, not in time. So, double steal working to perfection here for Manchester. Nolan Duval takes off after the throw to try to get Plamondon out. And very quickly, 2 nothing. Still only one out and... Running now in second base with the speedy Plamondon, Jake Vashon. Swing and miss. They're not shading Vashon towards the line or anything like that, and he's able to uh, use his speed. We saw it last year for sure. When the ball gets over the right fielder's head, he can often turn on the burners and score. And he hits one over towards third base. The throw across in time. 
Works like a sacrifice. Has Plumon and able to move up to third. Now with two outs. And the first baseman, Declan Ryan. We've seen him hit some doubles into the gaps this year. See if he can get an RBI himself here. Keep the score more to less. A big swing and a miss. Ryan kicks the ball on accident. Declan, not happy with himself there. Really outside, low pitch, and he tried to golf it. Now down in the count, 0-2. And strike three. You can see the happiness from Morgan as he gave a Derek Jeter, Tiger Woods fist pump. But Dover, down in this game, 2-0, Manchester, able to get some runs. Jacob Lamondon able to bring in the first run and then a double steal allows Manchester to take the lead. We'll go to the top of the fourth, take a quick break and let Griffin warm up. That was a long inning there. And a 2-0 Manchester lead. We'll be right back after this. Andrew Poza for the Dover Green Wave leads us off here for the top of the fourth inning. He takes a strike looking. Curveball working really well for Griffin's day. Wind really helping that cause as well. One and one count. And he cranks one way high in the air. We'll see who calls this. It's going to be Plamondon. Incredible height on that. We're four stories up here in the press box, and that was way above my head. So, a long first out here, and Griffin really feeling it. And we'll see what Timmy McGregor can do. McGregor takes strike one. McGregor grounded out to Plamondon to Lopez to end the first inning. And he hits it to Plamondon again, ranging over the throw across. And Declan Ryan able to catch it cleanly. And very quickly, I think this has only been like three pitches so far in this inning, and we got two outs. Parker Flurry grounded out to start the second inning. Strike, looking. Another strike haul, so Parker in a jam here. Ball high, try to get him chasing. It was a good look there. One, two count. And he checks his swing, ball gets away, Hood steps around, throws down to Ryan, and that will do for the top part of the fourth. No hits, no runs, no errors. Griffin Loge cruising so far in this game. And we'll see if the bats can still get to work here as we'll have Matt Lebrecht, Tyler Shrablowski, and Izzy Lopez to bat here in the bottom of the fourth. So a two nothing, Manchester lead. Manchester Public Television's baseball coverage will be back after this. Well, the temperature reached 49 degrees here. Wind gusts of 17 miles per hour, and it's not affecting this Manchester team so far. Up to nothing here. And we'll see what LeBrec can do here. He got a walk in the first, sends one way out towards Maple Street. For strike number one. The Breck got the walk, but then was thrown out trying to 
take off. Not thinking that the center fielder, Brett David, was going to catch it. David, range well and throw well. And we'll see if Labreck has learned from his mistakes. And now down in the hole. It was a long at bat the first time. We'll see if he does it again here. I don't know. Fouled back. Pitcher ready to deal. And he gets Lebrec on a foul tip into the mitt. So, first out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And we'll see what Travlowski can do. He signed one deep into center field. So he definitely can connect. Let's see if he can find some green. And I don't mean a green jersey. Some green as in AstroTurf out there. So the pitcher ended the third with a K, started the fourth with a K. Tyler sends one out to right field. Gets over his head again. And this one's going to go all the way to the fence. Tyler rounding second. Let's see if they send him. They are sending him. He rounds third. He's going to run out of gas. The throw is going to not be in time. And Tyler Shrablowski gets an in-the-park home run. He will need some oxygen in the dugout after that long jaunt. 120 yards right there around the base paths. And Manchester taking a 3-0 lead. We'll see what Izzy Lopez can do. Tough day for McDonough in right field. Just not able to read the ball well with this wind. And now another... Ball out to right field, just over the second baseman's head. McDonough able to field this one cleanly. And now, a one-out single. Puts Lopez on first base. And David Hood will be the next batter. Hood was able to double out to right fields and scored the first run in the third inning. We'll see if he can find the jet stream out in right field again. Takes strike number one. And he cranks one through the hole between short and third base. And another single. Manchester feeling the energy. Trying to get their fifth win of the year. They'd lost three of the last four. Still plenty of time for the green wave to figure things out, but we'll see what Nolan Duval can do. It's a pitch high. Ground ball, third base. Could be trouble. Can he get it across? He's able to. But he moves the runners up into scoring position. Izzy Lopez at third. David Hood at second. And we'll see what the pitcher, Griffin Loge, can do. Help his own cause. Put up a run, hopefully. Maybe even two. Griffin flew out to center field his first time at bat, so it's 0 for 1 of the day. Takes a strike low. Hey. 
gets himself in a jam here down 0 2. Files one. Now Dover trying to get out of the jam here. Tries for the outside strikeout. Not able to get it. Wind gusting pretty good right now. We do have some chances of rain in the next half hour, so. And he reaches for one, rolls it to second base. Second base has to rush, and he's able to get that out. So, three hits, one run, and no errors. Manchester able to get another run to increase their lead. We'll head to the top of the fifth. Dover running out of time. We'll see what they can do with their bats. Manchester Public Television, baseball coverage. Manchester and Dover, 3-0. We'll be back after this. David Williams for the Dover Green Wave will lead us off here. He is 0 for 1 on the day, grounding out to Tyler Shrablowski at third base. Way back in the second inning. See what we can do here in the fifth. Takes strike number one. Griffin wheeling and dealing so far. He's fouled back. Tyler's got three Ks on the day, two walks. Fouled back. Looks like Dover is trying to hit it towards right field as it's worked well for Manchester, but now down on the count, 0-2. Hood gives him the high pitch sign, try to get him chasing. Oh, fouled off. Hood not able to keep it in his glove, and another chance for David Williams. Williams able to send it to Izzy Lopez. And unfortunately, the first hit of the game goes to David Williams. Griffin had him at a point where he thought he might get the K, but Williams uses his speed. It was a tough spot deep in the hole at second base. Lopez did everything that he could. But now in the Top of the fifth, we get the first hit of the game. And now Brady McDonough. Brady's having a tough day out in right field. Would love to send one out that way to help the cause here. And he fouls one. Will end up in the soccer net. Hits off the soccer net. Heads towards the goalpost. And Manchester... Excuse me, a Dover player running all the way out there to get it. A swing and a miss. Uh, he's going as well. Oh, the ball does not get away. Izzy is trying to plead that he wasn't on the bag. The hat comes off. Pomona gives him a little pat on the back. So Williams will stand on second base as officially Brady McDonough will strike out. And even Griffin's just confused over things as coach will come out and talk to the umpire. It's kind of tough here. I mean, you don't really have too many fields where the bases come off like you do here at Gill Stadium. Wasn't able to get the umpire's name, so I can't really say. I can see Coach pleading that, hey, he came off the bag. He kept sliding. The tag was on him.
Jackson Carroll will be the next batter. As much as Coach is going to want to plead this case, not much that Williams can do. You can see the body language. What kind of is... The throw down by Hood was a good one too. Tyler and Griffin keeping each other warm with some warm-up pitches. Coach is still kind of saying what he believes to be the right thing. Believes the umpires are wrong, but... Now, or it looks like we're going to intentionally walk the one and only Parker Jackson. Or, excuse me, Parker Carroll. And now, let's we'll see if we get a pitching change here. I know that uh, I talked to... David Hood before the game saying that there was going to be two pitchers for the game and I'm not sure if Griffin's day is over with after giving up his first hit here in the top of the fifth inning. Top feet and this far up, can't really hear what they have to say. Now the Dover coach is going to come down and just keep this discussion going. It's a kid's game in some ways, and sometimes the adults want to get victories as any way that they can, so going over the rules and regulations. I would certainly have a quite a delay in the game. This is I can't say I've covered too many games where uh, this sort of delay in the game, a 3 nothing Manchester lead here in the fifth inning. Okay. Gone through the lineup already. I need some John Boy so I can read some lips. Players all kind of squatting down. It's certainly been tough for the Manchester team as they're out in the field. Forty nine degree day with the wind gusts of it looks like thirty miles per hour, some of them. He's still pleading the case that something is wrong in the lineup. I wish I had a field reporter to send you down to to know exactly what's going on. The body language is pretty fun to read. Still, something else to say. Wants to get the last word. All right. 
right, well. <sighs> Back to the, the game at hand. Brett David, who's over two on the day, off the bat. Pumondon rolls over to second base in case Griffin wanted to throw down. Possible double play opportunity. Oh, is he not able to feel it cleanly? And Dover will allow, will get a run here. David Williams is able to score. Being thrown out though at third base, Izzy was able to get it to Shrabolowski. And Jackson Carroll thrown out. So, an E4 allows Brett David to get an RBI. And now he is a big lead at first base. Well, two outs here, and we'll see what Jacob Morgan can do. Morgan was able to get on twice so far in this game. One by an error, one by a walk. And he's looking to help the cause. David taken off. He Ball gets away as he tries to force the tag, but he didn't have the ball in his hand. And the speedster, Brett David at second base. Game get a little more interesting here in the top part of the fifth inning. And cranks it out to center field. Rounding third for the second run for the Green Wave. And just like that, Brett David, very excited Green Wave dugout, an RBI single, makes this a one-run deficit. And Declan Ryan will do what he can to keep Jacob Morgan from moving on to second base. And Ryder Aubin. He lined out to Shrablowski. Oh, a hit. Batter. So first pitch. Runner moves up to second base. Now runners at first and second. Wheel start to come off here a little bit after a long, long delay by the coach of the Knights. Cranks way up in the air. Let's see if they have trouble. Oh, he's able to make that play. Get out of the jam. So this game, a little bit more interesting than it was before. And we'll head to the bottom of the fifth inning, a 3-2 game. Manchester Public Television happy to be covering this Division I high school baseball matchup. We'll be back after this. Jacob Lamont steps into the batter's box here for the bottom of the fifth inning. Manchester trying to get some momentum back. Strike number one. Lamont had an RBI single in the third inning, able to get the first run. And he fouls one back towards the Manchester Police Department. Now down in the count, 0-2. Pulmon asks for a quick timeout. Outside, try to paint the corner. Unable to. Sends it foul. So, a one-two count, staying alive. Gets a hold of one, way ahead of it though. Sends it out in just near the bullpen. And another foul ball. 
right in the defense of that bat right there. Still a one two count. And now he gets a hold of it, sending it out to right field. One hops to McDonough. And now a leadoff single for Plamondon, who is now two for three in this game. Reached across the plate, was able to get a hold of it and get it himself another single. We know his speed on the base path base paths is pretty good. And we'll see what Jake Vashon can do. Jake's had a 0 for 2 day so far. He sends one foul. Jake rounded out to the second baseman in the first and to the third baseman in the third. And he sends one out to right field. He is able to catch it this time, but now possibly being doubled off. The throw is off target, and Plamondon, who is already on his horse past second base when that ball was hit, gets back to the bag in time. And we'll see what Declan Ryan can do here with one out. Outside pitch goes for ball one. Ryan's big swing, but a big miss. Bouncing. Ball, throw gets away, but great backup by the shortstop. The throw is over the second baseman's head, but ranging over was Timmy McGregor, who will be the leadoff batter in the sixth inning for this Green Wave team. Now, a 2-1 count to Declan. He grounds one over the pitcher's head. McGregor from second to throw over. He's called out. McGregor were able to range over, but moving over to third base, working as a sacrifice is Plamondon, so he's just 90 feet away from scoring the fourth run. And it's gonna be Matt Lebrecht who will have to continue this inning if you The designated hitter. Lebrecht's had a tough go of it. Ball one had a walk in the second inning and struck out in the fourth inning. Inside called strike. So 2-1 count. Uh, check swing. Says yes. So two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bottom five. Jacob Lamont in that third base would love to go home. We got a timeout. Big wind gust right here. So Breck wanted to uh, take a moment to see if the wind would Shot off, and he grounds one. McGregor eats it up. The throw across. Doesn't have to throw very hard. Lebrecht was trying it as much as he could, but the energy certainly has gone to the green wave. They scored two in the fifth. We'll see what happens as we head to the top of the sixth. Manchester still holding on to the lead. We'll see if we can continue and end this game with a victory. We'll be back to see what happens after this. Shortstop Timmy McGregor hit by the first pitch. Wasn't even really paying over in time. And 
now the tie run at first base. And we'll see what Parker Fleury can do. Parker is over two of the day with a strikeout and a ground out. And now ground ball, Plamondon able to get it. The throw across, not in time. An infield single puts two base runners on for Dover and Manchester. Might have to go to the relief pitcher pretty soon. And David Williams, who got a single last inning, scored the first run for Dover. Bunce misses. Hood tries to find a base runner who is leading too far, try to throw it down to Declan, but not in time. And now a one strike. We know what Williams is probably going to do here. Bunt it again. He gets it down. A good one. Declan throws it up to second. Izzy Lopez not there in time. And now bases are loaded. Full of green wave. And nowhere to put him. And it's going to be Brady McDonough. Brady struck out last inning. Brady has actually struck out twice in this game. Also in the second inning. Infield all in right now, up on the grass. The throw will be home for sure. McGregor it. Swing and a miss. 1-1 one, one count now. McGregor at third, Flurry at second, Williams at first for the Green Wave. Big swing, another miss. See what Griffin goes to. I'm gonna guess a high, high strike. And it's sent over. Not able to catch it. A leap, leap over to first for the first out, but Dover able to bring in the tying run, so a sacrifice for Williams allows the Green Wave to tie up this game and runners still at second and third. And Jackson Carroll off the bat. Jackson had a walk. And he sends it up in the air. Tyler Travelowski calls for it. Ranges over, able to get it in his glove. So quickly, two outs. And the speedy Brett David off the bat with two outs. First base is open if they decide they want to walk him, but he has grounded out a few times and flown out to left field. Strike one called. Inside pitch. Flurry at third, Williams at second. And he sends it out to left field again, ranging over to get it. And with that out, Manchester able to escape a bases loaded no out jam. Only allowing one run to come in, and the coach will have to talk to them, see if get these bats going, end this game quickly. It's a 3-3 game. 
We'll be back with more baseball coverage. Dover, Manchester. Bottom of the sixth inning after this. Well, Tyler Shravalowski, Shravalowski, excuse me, off to bat now. His last time up was an exciting play. Hit it over the right fielder's head. Ball went all the way to the fence for inside the park home run. And they have not scored since. That was way back in the fourth inning as we go to the bottom of the sixth. 3-3 three, three game. Tyler flew out to center fields in the second inning, so he's been able to send the ball to the outfield pretty well today. Now down in the hole, 0-2. Tyler looking down at the plate like, really? You gonna call that? Ooh, good frame job there by the catcher, Morgan, but just did not get the call from the umpire, so one, two count. And he fouls one over to his coach at third base. Coach Ball is it. I guess that's EC. Now back to it. One, two count. Gets the corner for strike three. And now Green Wave with one out. All the energy in this game for Manchester was taken away when coach came out to challenge. And now we'll see if Izzy Lopez can bring that energy back. Strike one. Izzy certainly has, I sense some energy from those cleats. Look at those bad boys, fluorescent yellow. And we'll see what this ball outside. So one, one count. He grounds one to McGregor. Is he another great head first slide into the base? But goes out for out number two. And David Hood, who is two for two in the day, up to bat now. Certainly felt like the catalyst getting the first run way back in the third inning and needs to bring that energy back. A double and a single. And now he sends it out to David out in center field. Haven't said his name in a while. And he's able to make that catch for the third out. So, green wave. All the momentum. They've scored the last two innings. Two in the fifth, one in the sixth. Looking to keep it going. But Manchester on the other end trying to stop any sort of tide coming in. We'll head to the seventh. Be back after this. Well, Jacob Morgan, the first batter here for the top of the seventh inning. The catcher takes an inside pitch. Fouled just underneath me. Goes into the stands. So one, one count. Morgan has been on base three times today. Hit by a pitch, a walk in an error. Still able to help his team out. Looking to get to first base for the fourth time. Griffin steps back on the mound. Look, I believe I actually might have his last name wrong. I think it's Magnum. Magnum. As the uh, scoreboard operator g gave me the last name wrong. And now it's going to be a full count to Magnum. And he grounds one to Plamondon. Plamondon gets the ball over to Ryan. 
and able to get the first out here in the seventh inning. Griffin finding his groove all over again. And we'll see what Ryder Aubin can do. Ryder was able to get on base back in the fifth inning his last time of bat. Striking out in the first inning and lining out to Trablowski in the fifth inning. And he sends one way foul. And popped up in the air. Declan ranging over. Able to make that catch. Good job, Declan. That was a heck of a way out there to get that ball. And two outs here in the top of the seventh. And now we've got the four batter in Andrew Penza. Ball one high. Pose, excuse me. 1-1 one, one count now. Griffin catches the outside corner. Andrew shakes his head in disbelief. This umpire has been almost like Angel Hernandez out there today. Wood giving him some props, saying that was close. It was a good pitch, but umpire says otherwise. 2-2 two, two. count, two outs. Called strike three, Andrew in shock, but Griffin and happy, and we'll head to the bottom of the seventh. Great game here from Gill Stadium. We'll have Nolan Duval, Griffin Loge, and Jacob Lamondon, the eight nine one batters. We'll see what happens. Bottom of the seventh inning coming at you after this for Manchester Public Television's baseball coverage. And now we'll see if this game ends in the bottom of the seventh inning. Nolan Duval off the bat takes a called strike one. Nolan has been, oh, he gets a hold of one into the gap. And that's going to drop down for a leadoff single. So the winning run now on base. Duval has had a pretty good day. A pitcher going to tie his cleats a little bit. Nolan had that steal of home to get the second run back in the third. A double steal between him and Plamondon. And we'll see if Griffin bunts here. Griffin has flied out to center field and hit to second base. Love to see the pitcher. He does try to bunt it. Unsuccessful first attempt as it goes backwards foul. Manufacture their winning run. Plamondon, Vashon, Ryan. One, two, three after this. He's able to get it down. Pitcher thought about throwing it down to second base, but Griffin Loge does his job getting Nolan Duval over to second base. Team's got to love that. Now one out, runner at second base. Chance to win this in before we go to extra innings. Plamondon back to the pitcher though. Pitcher gets him into a pickle. He tries to take off, the tag is there. And Nolan Duval out at Third base, Plamondon hit a ground ball right back to the pitcher. Pitcher threw it to second base, and Duval not able to be speedy enough. Plamondon not pleased with himself, as now he is the winning run 
on first base with two outs. And we'll see if Jake Vashon can get a hold of one here. He tries that first swing. A little off-speed changeup. And he does, sends it past the first baseman. The pitcher gets over. He is out. Oh, there's a lot of yelling here. The first base coach thinks otherwise. And we will head to the eighth inning. Wow, a crazy turn of events right there. No outs for Manchester. Lead off single, but we'll head to the eighth. Unfortunate way things have gone. Manchester with the 3-0 lead, but now it's 3-3, and we'll go to extras here. A wild Wednesday here from Gill Stadium. The winds are blowing, and we'll see what happens here as we go to extras. Manchester Public TV, we'll be right back. Timmy McGregor leads us off here for the Green Wave in the top of the eighth inning. And he takes the first pitch over to Plamondon. Plamondon over to Ryan, and he is out. Close play. Good speed there by McGregor, the shortstop. And one swing, one out here. Almost feels like a ping pong game with the energy. We might go 10 rounds the way things are going if this is a boxing match. And Parker Fleury, off to bat now, takes strike one. Parker's two for three on the day. He ground out to third in the second inning. Inside pitch, came close to hitting him, but does not. And he grounds one, two, third. Tyler's gonna throw it hard. He does, great stretch there by Declan Ryan. Kudos to you, big guy. That was a heck of a stretch. And now, two outs here. Manchester wants to get their at-bats quicker. They had the momentum in the bottom of the seventh, just not able to capitalize. And now, a foul ball back towards Valley Street. And now a strike two. David Williams. He sends one. Is he not able to get it? Hits the top part of his glove. And that will go for a two-out single. And David Williams has been a menace to the Manchester team today. And now he'll try to motor over to second base with a lefty here. Brady McDonough has had a tough day at the plate, going 0 for 3, two strikeouts, and a grounder to Declan Ryan. Griffin thought about throwing over to first, holds off. A sky high. Izzy Lopez loses his hat, calls for it. The win takes it, but he is able to make the adjustment and get the out here in the top of the eighth inning here. And now it will be the big part of the lineup here for Manchester in the bottom of the eighth. None other than Declan Ryan, Matt Labreck, and Tyler Shrabolowski. So we'll see if they can get it done. Extra innings here in Manchester. Dover and Manchester tied at three. And back for more here from Gill Stadium. Kyle Heavey with Manchester Public Television. Having a great game. Both teams trying to get their fifth win of the year. 3-3 three, three extra innings. Ball outside.
Declan, one for three, sends one out in the gap. This might be too much air time. It is not, I was wrong. Gets all of the way to the warning track and a leadoff double for Declan Ryan. I wasn't sure if the wind was gonna shift that out to center field more, but Ryan, like I was saying earlier in the game, I knew that he was capable of double and he capitalizes here. And now we might have a timeout. No, excuse me. Coach was just nice enough for Dover to come out and get the bat. And now we'll see if Matt Lebrecht can win this game with Declan Ryan at second base. Gets the call. See if he lays down a bunt. I don't think that it would be a... He's the type of person that would bunt. First baseman up close, though. And he sends one up there. It'll get to Brett David at second. He's rounding him. He's the play of the plate. And he is out. He is out. What a play right there. <sighs> Tough way for this game to keep going on as Brett David able to field it off a couple hops and make a throw home. And now we'll get a pinch runner here for Matt Lebrecht with one out here. He did his job. He connected. Got a single. So one out here. We'll see what Trablowski can do. He was the third run for Manchester in this game. Check swing fouled off. Check swing again. Thought it was outside. Talks to the umpire. Not pleased with that call. Now down to the count. 0-2. He looks at his coach like, come on. He, how do you let that happen? So, Tyler, with some anger, see if he can get that frustration out on the ball now. Try to frame it. Magnum. One, two count. Runner at first. Check swing into the mitt for strike three. Tyler, not pleased. And now Izzy Lopez has a chance to continue this game. Takes a strike one down the plate. Izzy is one for three on the day, getting a single in the fourth. Outside pitch, just not able to be framed. A strike call there. David Hood on deck. Swing and a miss, throw down. Did he get him? He does. As they leave the field, we will head to the ninth inning. Dover with some incredible defense these past few innings, able to keep the Knights at bay. We will head to the top of the ninth. The fair is on in the outfield, and the excitement is here in the stadium at Gill. We'll be back to see what happens here. Manchester Public Television's Baseball coverage, Green Wave and Knights tied up at three. A slight drizzle starting to fall here at Gill Stadium for the top of the ninth inning. Griffin Loesch still pitching here. Gives a high cheese there for the first pitch. A 
And he sends it up in the air, ranging over, still feeling for it, and able to make that catch. Well done there by the center fielder. We haven't really said too much about Jake Vashon today. He's been consistently good out in center field, but really not much to do when no one's hitting the ball to you, except for that play where he was able to make out number one. Another left-handed batter trying to use that win to their advantage. And he grounds one, Izzy Lopez, ranging over to get it. Over to Ryan, and quickly, two outs here in the top of the ninth. And Jacob Morgan back up to the bat. So it looks like Jackson Carroll was the first batter. Then Brett David just grounded out. Fouled up over my head. Sun now coming out. From Drizzle to Sun in a matter of a second. T ground to ball to Trabalowski over to Ryan. And one, two, three, top of the ninth. Can Manchester do what's need to be done to end this game in the ninth? We've had opportunities in the seventh and the eighth. Let's see what they can do here in the ninth with David Hood, the catcher, the first batter. He's had a great day going two for three. We can see if he goes three for four. We'll see what happens after this. Manchester scoreless for the past five, five innings. Looking to change it and win the game. David Hood takes strike number one. David was the first run of the game back in the third inning after a double out to right field. Thought about it, held off. Ball kind of bounces away. Good work by Nolan Duval to... Go and get that. And he reaches for one, grounds it. Third baseman gets it, throw over. It's not in time as David Hood, you can see the happiness with those big claps. Now, again, the leadoff batter gets on first. We've had one thrown out at third, another at the plate. Let's see if David Hood can avoid getting thrown out and score the winning run. We'll see what Nolan Duval can do. Nolan bunts, but kind of was an inside pitch, so didn't have a very good trajectory off the bat, that is. Nolan's been very good today. He was able to get on, like I said, in the seventh before being thrown out at third. He had a walk in the third and a sacrifice in the fourth. A strike two call, though. So now we will not see a bunt from Nolan as he'll have to swing away. Now down to 0-2 is Duval. Holds off, ball kind of gets away, and Hood is not does not see that from his vantage point. Stays at first. Don't know the pitcher's last name, but Luke doing a pretty good job on the on the mound today for the Green Wave. Coach did not put him on the roster that I took a picture of, so I unfortunately do not know his name. And now, oh, just down the, f the line that goes foul. And now it looks like we do have a player warming up to come into pitch. Looks like it's going to be Declan Ryan will be the new pitcher if we have to go any further. Oh, sent over second base. He tags first and doubled off. A double play by the Green Wave. A 
line shot by Duval. And now Griffin. Oh. Looks like to be he'll be taken out from the pitcher spot. Will be the batter. And strike hauled. Line shot to Andrew Raposa. Tags the base before Hood can get back. The double play. Inside pitch to Griffin. 2-1 count. And Griffin one hops to McGregor. McGregor able to get it over. And we head to the 10th inning. Another long one that Manchester Public Tele Television is proud to be here for. We saw a 14 inning game earlier this year with softball. Now we get double digits for innings here on this wild Wednesday. Green Wave 3, Knights 3. We'll be back after this. And here we go with Ryder Aubin will be the first batter here in the top of the 10th inning. And we still have Griffin out there pitching here. Declan took some warm-ups, but they're going to go with the starter here. He sends one foul out towards the opposing team's bullpen. Actually lands inside of it. So a 1-1 one, one count. Strike two. Strike three. Aubin not pleased. Hood doing a good job of using uh, the frame job. I know he's going to school at St. A's, but Carpentry with that frame job could be in his future as well. So one out here. Griffin really cruising here. Big swing and a miss by big number 35. Raposa, the first baseman. Playing great defense. Raposa had a tough day at the plate though. 0 for 4 with a walk. Outside pitch. Behind that one. 2 2 count now. A little bit outside. Hood has to go and get it. And now, count is full. Griffin had a 1 2 3 ninth inning. Looking to do the same thing here in the 10th. A fly ball out to Nolan. Nolan, who had to reach up a little bit higher at the last second. So a very long, scary second out. And we'll bring up Timmy McGregor. McGregor has gone 0 for 4 as well, being hit by pitch. And has been a big fan of the defense of one Jacob Lamont and grounding out to shortstop multiple times. Grounded out to Jacob three times. Strike called. Sun coming out blindedly right. It's going to be tough for Declan Ryan and Raposa at first base. Late swing, sends it foul. Thankfully, I brought two batteries for today's game as I would have run out at A little check swing. Griffin break, walks it basically over. A speed walk, that is, to Declan Ryan. And another 1-2-3 inning. Defense being 
solid by both squads right now. And we'll head to the bottom of the 10th inning. Still tied up at three. Great game. Thank you for those watching. This will definitely be up on YouTube tomorrow and for the end of time for others to enjoy because we really do have a great defensive matchup. Stay tuned. We'll see what happens at the bottom of the 10th. And Jacob Lamondon will be the first batter here for Manchester, who's had a decent game. Has been on base three times. One with a fielder's choice, the other with two singles. Ball one was the first pitch. And he sends one over to third base. Third base able to get it on the one hop, the throw across. And not able to be speed enough is Plamondon. So out number one to start off the bottom of the 10th inning. Jake Vashon, who's really got to figure things out. He's been 0 for 4 on the day. Outside, a little change up that did not work. Declan's, or excuse me, Jake is now going inside. Outside, inside. See if he can send him down the middle of the plate for Jake to take a big swing at. And it does what I asked him to do for strike one. And waves the bat at that one. Now 2-2. Two -two. And the sun has disappeared. No lights on yet. Outside. So we will have a full count. Very quickly into the 6 o'clock hour we go. And Jacob or, sends it. For a single, the Jacob-Jake combo and the lineup kind of had me, and we might have a pitching change here in the bottom of the 10th inning. We'll see what happens. Coach coming out, infields all coming together. We're going to discuss what needs to be done. He's got the ball in his hand. Not sure if he's going to give it up or if he's going to hold on to it. And yes, we will have a pitching change here. A heck of a day by Luke. But he gives the ball up to number 25. Not really sure. Again, the coach did not give me the roster except for the players out on the field. So... We'll see Luke getting some love from his teammates. Well, Jake Vashon finally gets his hit. Now we'll see what his speed does. We'll check out this new pitcher here and be back for the bottom of the 10th, Manchester. Getting a runner on base. See if they can get him around to score. Well, the new pitcher for Dover has a pretty superb fastball. This will be interesting to see Declan Ryan, who was able to get a double in the eighth inning, but was thrown out at home. The batter, he takes the first pitch way out to center. Center fielder ranging, and he's able to make the catch. Of course he does. The defense of one Mr. Brett David has been impressive all day long. And now, actually, it looks like we have a new player out there for Vashon. That's nothing other than Ethan Moy, or Ethan May, excuse me. And now, discussing some things here. Matt Lebrecht. Love to end this game here if he can get a hold of one. Oh, 
Matt's had a tough day. Swing and a miss. And he takes off. Oh, but the McGregor at second, or excuse me, at short, able to make that hit and run. And now we'll head to the top of the 11th. Wild one. We'll see if we can get a winner in the 11th. Stay tuned for that. We'll be right back after this. Parker Flurry, the new batter here for the Dover Green Wave. First pitch goes for a ball. And we'll have Declan Ryan doing the work here on the mount. Griffin Loge going 10 innings. Declan in a little bit of a hole here. 2-0 count. He needs to figure out the strike zone. Now he gets it. Flurry's gone one for four on the day, a single in the sixth. A lot of ground outs. But not able to get a pitch that he likes so far. Has not swung the bat and it's worked in his favor, a 3-1 count. And foul ball over my head. Lands just beyond the catwalk on the roof. And now a full count. Declan having some issues with command so far. And sends one high up in the air. Looks like Vashon ranging, ranging, finding, and catching. And out number one. Six pitches, but it did the trick. And we'll see what David Williams can do. Williams has certainly been a frustrating player today. And he sends one out to right field, ranging over, not able to get it. it, hits the ground, hits the 312 spot, and he's gonna go for three, and it looks like it's gonna be a stand-up triple, and it is. The base comes off, and Williams, the villain in the eyes of Manchester, still has to score though. Takes the... First pitch from Declan Ryan sends it way out to right field. Hood gets the sign from coach. And now sent out into the gap. That's going to bring in Williams from third. And this could go for a back-to-back -back triples. Lopez gets the ball. And it looks like it will be. So Dover finally gets things squared away. Has scored four unanswered runs here. And Declan Ryan coming to relieve Griffin Loge having all sorts of trouble. Three hard hit balls so far, two of them going for triples. And now another hard hit ball to center field. Vashon going back. He's able to get it, but that will bring the run in, a sacrifice fly. And Dover now leads this game five to three. You can see the hop, skip, and jump, and the green wave feeling confident that they might have gotten this victory. But we shall see. Now Brett David. He sends one over to Izzy Lopez. Two hopper over to first. And now the bat's got to get things working here for Manchester.
Giving up two runs in the top of the 11th inning. Coach will bring them together, give them a pep talk. We'll see what happens as we go to the bottom of the 11th inning. And it will be the meat part of the lineup. So they certainly are able to do this, but mind over matter. We'll see if they can do it. Focus out of play here. There we go. And we'll be back with more of this game after this. Tyler Shrabolowski, the leadoff batter for Manchester here in the bottom of the 11th. We just need some base runners at this point. Fastball goes for a ball one. Hits off the catcher's leg and goes down the first base line. Tyler struck out in the eighth. Still not pleased with the calls by the umpire in that at bat. And he grounds one over to second base. Second base and fields it. Throw over in time. And now we have one out here for the Knights. Izzy Lopez, the next batter here. He's had a busy day in the field at second base. Izzy is one for four on the day. Grounding out to the shortstop the last two times. And grounds one, possibly to second base. Fields it, the throw over in time. And two outs quickly retired for the Knights. And brings us to David Hood. Hood is the last hope for this team. Score the first run of the for the Knights, and let's hope that he can score another here. And he fouls one back, first pitch swinging. This heck of a relief pitcher here for Dover. He's coming in and just absolutely thrown heat in this game. Inside pitch. Hood won to say that it hit off his jersey for the way that he kind of started walking, but... One one count. Inside again. Waiting for the pitch, the delivery. And he gets it past Hood. And gets a hold of that, sends it out foul. A lot of Dover players running out, not able to get it. A long run by three Green Wave players. Hats were lost, sunglasses lost, breaths lost, and Hood. Hoping to hit it to one of them right now. They, they're, they, don't know if they're going to have their breath back by the time they field the ball. 2-2 two, two count. Two outs. Manchester down two runs. Ball three. Sun shining back out here. Hood swings at an inside pitch. Fouls it off, though. Nolan Duval. Inside pitch goes for ball four. So David Hood continues the game. It was down in the count. Able to come back and... Keep it going, so we'll see what Nolan can do now. Oh, 
Nolan's had a tough go the last two times at bat, being thrown out at Thurst and lining into a double play. Inside pitch nearly hits him. He's, these guys are doing a good job of dodging these throws. And he sends one out to left field. Left fielder, not sure if he should field it. It goes for a foul ball, though. Great job by this left fielder making that attempt to end the game. First time we've seen Nolan Duval really send one out that far. Long strike one right there. Dover, been a streaky team, won the first two games, lost the next three, were two and three, and have won the last two. Hoping to get a victory here as they have four games away. They're on the road a lot these next couple of games. Inside, oh, called strike. Wow, okay. Umpire must possibly have date night with his wife after this. Well, one, two count, timeout called. Stress in the air. The delivery here. Inside for ball two. Nolan scored the second run of the game back in the third. Swing and a miss. Oh, fouled off. Barely heard a ting as it ricocheted off of his calf area. And now still another 2-2 two -two count. Two outs. Gets called strike three, and the Dover Wave score five straight unanswered runs to pull out the 11th inning victory here at Gill Stadium. A tough way to go down and defeat for the Knights. They will be on the road versus Timberlane on Friday, hoping to get back into the winning ways. They drop to a 4-4 four and four record on the year while Dilver jumps up to 5-3. and three. We'll be back next Friday versus Memorial. Kind of a doubleheader. There's an alumni game at 4 o'clock and the actual game between Memorial and Manchester Central West at 7 o'clock. So for Executive Director Jason Cody, Operations Specialist Joe Lahr, Operations Assistant Brenda McCormick, my name is Kyle Heavey. It's been a fun one here from Gill Stadium. The Knights looking to get a victory, have it, the rug pulled out from underneath them, and we'll see them again soon. Hopefully they can best of luck versus Timberland this week. But thank you all for watching. Be safe and continue to enjoy the coverage that Manchester Public Television is able to offer you all. It's been a doozy here. We'll see you all again soon. Good night.